This is a basic tutorial of how to perform propensity score matching in SPSS. It requires following a few steps before doing the analysis. Here I will explain all the steps one by one. At first, we will download SPSS. To do that, we go to Google and type SPSS trial download. Once the download is complete, run the downloaded file and install SPSS. If you already own and have SPSS in your computer then you can skip this step. I am downloading SPSS version 22 for Windows 7. We also need to install R for our purpose. For our purpose we need our version 2.15.3. Now we need to download and install our essentials for SPSS. We can download it from SPSS website. We now need the SPE file for propensity score matching. The file name is PS Matching 3.03. .03. We download it from SourceForge website. To install this SPE file in SPSS, we open SPSS first. From Utilities menu we choose Extension Bundles and then choose Install Local Extension Bundle. We select PS Matching 3.03 .03 file. This will install the file. Now, let us see how this program works. To do that we use a simulated data. As I showed on our video, the data is generated in R. The code link is in the description of this video. But you don't need this code. The data set link is also in the video description. We restrict the data set to 100 rows only to speed up the computation. Also for some reason all variable measurements need to be in scale format, so we change that. We go to Analyze menu and then select PS Matching. We select ID, Variable, Treatment Variable and the Covariates. We also choose logistic as estimation algorithm and nearest neighbor matching as matching algorithm. In plot and output option, we choose all the plots and output data set with only matched cases. The output window pops up showing matching properties. See that only 9 treated cases are matched with 9 controls. The output data also consists of only these 18 people. Also a column is produced titled PS that consists of corresponding propensity scores. Output window shows the relevant histograms to assess balance. Similarly we can choose the full matching option. C82 controls plus 9 treated persons are matched and data contains 91 persons. It is also possible to generate propensity scores using default function of SPSS. To do that we do not need to install any other packages. Just go to data menu, then select propensity score matching. Choose the variables accordingly and it produces a data set with additional column filled with estimated propensity scores. Hope this was useful to you. Feel free to leave feedback in this video. Thanks.